Hello license aspirants, how's it going? Welcome back to the license conversion video series and this time we'll continue discussing the HPT or hazard perception test. Before we begin, here's some more quick details on the test. So, the test is 45 minutes long and you'll be shown 28 videos, so that's 28 questions. Each one of them would be about 30 seconds long and you will only need to score a little over 50% to pass. 15 plus out of the 28 questions and you're fine. So trust me, it's not too difficult. I think the fact that Vic Rhodes has laid out such an easy pass percentage is probably because even they realize that this test is all flawed. So it's all good. But just like the knowledge test, you'll get the results right after the test from the service agent. What you need to be mindful of this one is that your results are valid for the next 12 months from the date of pass. That means if you do not complete your on-road driving test within these 12 months, your HPT scores will expire. So you'll then have to redo the HPT before you can go back to the road test. But honestly, 12 months is plenty of time unless maybe you've given up on trying to get your license. Okay, now that I've pretty much explained what the HPT is, I'll try to share some details on how you could tackle this tricky test that'll help you score a pass. Basically share some strategies that'll help you do this. Number one, and probably the most important thing you need to do, stay calm. I know this is easy to say, but do try to make it happen. The problem is, when you have booked in for your test, all you hear about are of blocks who have had to do the HPT four, five, six times and still haven't been able to clear it. But just look around on the roads. All those people driving on their full licenses have all got through this one. It can't be that hard. So just relax and you'll be right. The second tip I've got for you is how you hold on to the mouse, your key tool in this test. Now, this is crucial as a lot of people fail the test as they tend to go a little too trigger happy. As soon as you spot the hazard, you may go bam. And this gets even worse when you're nervous. So that takes me back to my first point, relax. This jumping the gun tends to make the, the click or the response to the hazard happen too early and hence outside the correct window of time. So you then score a wrong on that question. Try to hold your mouse nice and loose with your clicking finger well raised like that. Don't be here while watching the video and you might go click click too early. When you spot a hazard, just take a brief pause and then go for it. Then you should be all good. Point three, and this is also crucial, you will have a few practice example questions at the start of your HPT. Make sure you do them, do not skip. And also make sure you do them a few times. Let me assure you these are not timed, so your 45 minute clock would not have started until you have moved on to the real test. So take your time with these. While doing these uh, practice questions, experiment with your click patterns. Try early, uh, on time, late, everything. And sort of dial yourself into the test software's timing. So this is why these practice questions are very important. And very often, some or perhaps even all four of them might also show up in your test. So you can then be sure you've got those ones right. Insider tip. <laughs> okay, the fourth thing that I have to talk about today is the drive smart. Now, Vic Roads tells its learner drivers to get at least 120 hours of supervised driving experience and in the process, it will build your hazard perception skills. So as an experienced overseas driver, you should already be having these skills. As per Vic Roads, an additional way of preparing for the HPT 
is by going through the Drive Smart tutorial. Drive Smart is, and I quote, an interactive program that takes you through a range of driving scenarios and quizzes where you need to make safe driving judgments. It'll also improve your hazard perception, scanning, and concentration skills. It's the perfect digital partner to the real world experience you get during your on road driving practice. Okay, uh, this program needs a registration. It's free, it's quite long and time consuming, but it's probably the closest thing you'll get to the VicRoads HPT. So do give it a go. It's quite fun. Yeah, kind of. Last thing for the day, there are some practice examples you have on the South Australia Department of Transport website. I wouldn't say it's exactly like the Big Roads test, but it sure helps. There are five tests with seven questions each, so that's 35 practice questions for you. Just to go through them as well, yeah, they do also help. Alright guys, once you do all these, you should be fine. However, there are a few more things that I need to talk about on the HPT, but that will be on the next episode next week. They're basically some, some guidelines or pointers where I'll basically be talking about some specific questions that tend to repeatedly show up for the HPT. So do stay tuned for those cheats. But if you have your test before that, don't worry, you should still be able to do fine. All the best everybody, stay safe and see you next time. Cheers.